Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and this episode focuses on the class of 1969. This yearbook is dedicated to Principal Richard Spoto, an alumni of HHS who decades later would have a high school named in his honor. By the beginning of the school year, it was clear that Hillsborough Junior College would have a temporary home at HHS. This is the beginning of Hillsborough Community College. Administrative offices for the new junior college were set up in prefabricated buildings on the north side of HHS. The science laboratories were also renovated at this time. Registration for the junior college took place in the cafeteria. Like any good partnership, there was some friction. Lack of parking spaces was one of these issues. Many high school students believe they got more parking tickets than their college counterparts. Tampa police denied this, and soon the junior college students were also getting tickets. High school students were also not supposed to use the college's vending machines. College students were also allowed to wear longer hair and different clothing than their high school counterparts. The junior college students smoking in the hallways of HHS threatened to close the junior college down. Some wondered if the junior college would ever get a permanent home, but of course, Years later, it would. While all that was going on, these terriers were trying to have as normal of a year as possible. This is an effigy of a panther being thrown onto the bonfire. It's another great season by the HHS football team, and Coach Billy Turner is named the Hillsborough County High School Coach of the Year. He is even congratulated by Red Grange. Once again, the basketball team captured the Western Conference title. It had been over a decade since Brown versus Board of Education, and while Hillsborough County Schools had some integration, they still did not meet the federal level of requirement. A new plan was approved to meet those federal requirements, and sadly, shortly thereafter, the KKK burned a cross in front of Hillsborough High School. 
Of course, true terriers celebrate diversity and understand that our differences are what make us stronger together. Whether or not they were ready, these terriers would graduate in June at Curtis Hickson Hall. They were heading into a rapidly changing world where the Cold War and the space race continued to heat up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my HHS videos. And as always, go Big Red.